Chosen ones, how y'all doing today? They are intimidated by your presence. That's right. They are offended when you come around. And a lot of the times you can really feel this energy. See, if we could see more than 1% of the light spectrum, you would be able to see the aura around these people. You would be able to see their energy field. But see, a lot of the times these people can sense your energy field. And this is like the law of polarity, people. Your energy is very, very positive. Their energy is very, very negative. So when those two energies come into the same vicinity, they feel intimidated by you. And you could pick up this energy all the way from across the room. Have you ever been somewhere and you're just chilling somewhere, then all of a sudden you turn around real fast and you see somebody looking at you and then they turn away real fast? See, this is what I call those people that are tr there to steal your energy. They are energy vampires. They are very intimidated by you. They see that you are so happy, that you're joyful. And what they'll try to do is they'll try to steal it in some kind of way. And a lot of the times this may come off as a person being rude to you. You may just come into a place and a person is just being mean or being rude. See, this person is the opposite of you. This is what I call an imposter. See, they're pretending to be a normal person, but they're not. Inside, they are very jealous. They're negative. They're envious. You understand? And it's just something about you. It could be the way you dress. You may smell really good. It might be your hair. You might have a fresh haircut or your locks done. Or ladies, you might come in with a fresh hairdo, hair hanging all the way down here. And then they are intimidated by that. You understand? See, they admire you and they are intimidated by you at the same time. They're looking at you like, oh, they got really nice hair or they are very humble or they got a good looking mate. You understand? But at the same time, they wish that they had that. And this can go even as far as like friends, you know, people that you may have hung out with in the past. You thought that y'all you all were cool. Then all of a sudden they just fall back a little bit and you're like, damn, where did they go? You know, we was real cool. Then all of a sudden, you know, they're just shying away from you. And a lot of the times when a person really finds out who you are, they really don't feel like they can measure up, right? They feel like eventually you're going to outgrow them because you're the type of person who sticks to your word. And they found this out about you because they're the type of people they lie all the time. You know, people don't believe in them because they're not the type of person who tells the truth all the time. They say that they'll do something for somebody and they don't. But you... You always stick to your word and they have seen this about you. They have observed this about you and they are very, very intimidated. And also you're the type of person who always keeps an open mind. You're not closed minded. You're not in that box. You think outside of the box. They don't. They are very, very closed minded. You understand? They don't think outside of the box and they are very, very intimidated by you because it is and also you know how to solve problems you're not the type of person who focuses on the problem you always focus on the solution and they are jealous of you because it is they're admiring that you can do this but at the same time they are intimidated by you because they do not have this special skill that you have you understand and also you are very very strong willed you're the type of person who believes where there's a will, there's a way. And this intimidates these people. These people, these so-called used to be friends, or they might even still be in your life. You understand? And I'm telling you, on the low key, these people are intimidated by you. And it's only going to be so long that the universe is going to show you this person's true colors. And another reason, people, why they are intimidated by you is that you don't support ignorance. Not at all. You have a low tolerance level when it comes to ignorance. You just don't support it. And they are the type of people who like to see ignorance. They like to laugh at it. They like to be entertained by it. And at times, they can get very ignorant. 
You understand? And they see that you don't support it in any shape, form or fashion. And they are intimidated by you. And this is another reason why they have shied away from you. Why you no longer can really truly consider this person a really, really good friend. You understand? Now, another reason, people, is because you just know your stuff. You understand? You're very intellectual. You're very smart. You can conversate with somebody that from all walks of life. You can conversate with anybody about anything. You could talk to somebody about a stick, about a about a crystal, about spirituality, about the world, everything. You're very intellectual. They can only talk to a certain amount of people. They can only talk to certain people, right? Because their intellectual level is not up there like yours. They are not smart at all. See, when it comes to people, I look at people like a box of pencils, right? You got your sharp pencils, you got your dull pencils, you got your broken pencils, and you got the pencils that haven't even been sharpened at all. This is how people are. You got sharp people, you got dumb people, you got people that don't work, and people that will never work, right? See, you are totally different from any of these people. You're the sharp pencil in the box. You're very sharp, and they are intimidated by you because of this. Now, another reason that they may be intimidated by you, why they're intimidated by you, is you're very kind to others. And you all may have been together and they have seen you bless people from time to time, all the time. And they're not this kind of person. They have the type of mentality that I'm going to keep my money. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give my money away. I made this money for me. They're very selfish. You're very selfless. And over time, they have seen this about you and they are very, very intimidated by you. They want to be like you, but they can't because you're an original. You understand? And they are a copycat. They copy everything else that everybody else does, but you don't. You have gotten away from or probably never even had the herd mentality. They have that herd mentality. They, they follow the other sheep. You have turned your back on the sheep. You went your own route in life. You do your own thing. You don't copy everybody else. You're just very, very original and they are intimidated by you because it is. And you're very, very optimistic. You always believe in the possibility. They're closed off. You understand? They're very limited. See, when it comes to being optimistic and a pessimist they are a pessimist they don't believe that anything is possible you do you understand see they always see their self as this person that's gonna always be working at this nine to five one day they may retire you understand but you always see more to life you always know that the universe is working for you and that something special is about to happen in your life. You're always expecting it. And they have found this out about you. And in turn, it made them envious. It made them very, very intimidated by you. And now you just really don't see them anymore. You understand? And it, it, it might be times where you might post up something that you achieved, something that you accomplished. This person that is intimidated by you, they're not going to support you. They are not going to give you any likes on social media. They're definitely not going to share your success. They're not going to leave any uh, comments saying, congratulations, good job. Because at the end of the day, they are very, very intimidated by you. And also, you've got goals. You've got dreams. Not only do you have goals and dreams, but every day you're working towards them. And over time, they have seen you accomplish your goals. When you say that you are going to achieve something, when you say that you're going to do something, you get it done just like that with no problem. But see, these are the type of people that are intimidated by you. They don't have any goals. They just have that normal life. At the end of the day, they are imposters. They are bots in this matrix. That's what they are. You're not a bot in any way. And they are very, very intimidated by you because of this. And you have no fear. 
You're not scared to step out your comfort zone. You're not scared to try new things. You're not scared to do what's uncomfortable to you because you already know that you will succeed at this. You're not scared to try it. You're not scared to fail. They are intimidated because they are so scared of fear. They are so scared to step out their comfort zone. They are so scared to try new things. They are continuously stuck in a loop. That's how their life is always going to be. Even if they try to go to school and, and, and try to accomplish something, they are only tr going to better what they're doing at their job or to get a better job. At the end of the day, they're always going to be punching that clock, that nine to five. But you think outside the box, you're thinking of success. You're thinking of becoming financially free. You're thinking of becoming wealthy. They don't dream that big. They don't have dreams that big at all. And another thing, you don't waste your time gossiping. See, they talk about people behind their back. They, they laugh at another person's downfall. You don't. You don't. You don't gossip about people unless it's positive. They always gossip about negative things. And you give off this positive, positive energy. And I'm telling you, when it comes to negative energy and positive energy, it's like water and oil. It just doesn't mix. It will never mix. Right. The law of polarity, people, they are negative. You are the positive, even though they're the same thing. But there is no positive and negative. There is no negative and positive. It's the law of polarity. That's why over time you all have clashed. Y'all, you all have collided. Your personalities have collided with each other. You all have probably had debates, arguments. It's because this person is a low vibrational person and they are intimidated by you because you're a high vibrational person, you know, and also you don't need superficial attention. You don't need somebody giving you attention for anything. You're very, very independent when it comes to speak in your mind you do your own thing you don't care if people compliment you or not it doesn't stop you you're not scared to keep going and what does it do to these people it intimidates them people it intimidates these people that's why they're not around anymore that's why they're not in your life anymore see when it comes to the universe as mark halton says the universe is a self-correcting code so when this person does not belong in your life, the universe will get them out of your life just like that. No problem. The universe is a self-correcting code. And another reason why people are very intimidated by you, by these old so-called friends are very intimidated by you is you don't copy others you're very authentic you dress the way you dress you walk the way you walk you talk the way you talk you understand these people look like they were spit out of some kind of copy machine they don't have their own style. They don't have their own language. When everybody else starts saying a certain word, they're the type of person who says that same word. When a, when a person dresses a certain kind of way, they dress that way. When some kind of celebrity does something to their body or does something in their life, they copy that. You don't. You are very, very original. And they are intimidated by you because of this, people. They are very, very intimidated. You are very, very un unapologetic. You don't apologize for telling the truth. You always tell it like it is. And you don't apologize for it. You understand? See, they're the type of people when it comes to if a person asks them, how do they look or how am I doing? They'll lie just to make this person feel good. You're a truth teller. You tell the people, you tell people just like it is how it's supposed to be told. You understand? And they are very jealous of you because of this. They are intimidated people. I'm telling you, 
tell you, these people are intimidated by everything that you do, by the way you talk, by the way you act, your personality, everything, people. And also, you don't mind being alone. You don't need a bunch of friends. You don't need a bunch of people around you. You don't. See, they do. They need to have a lot of people around them so they can try to become what they are, so they can copy them, so they can feel security, so they can look like they got a lot of friends. They got a lot of people around them. They make it look like a lot of people like me, right? But at the end of the day, these people are people just like them. These are also jealous people. You, you attract what you are. And they attract nothing but people in their life that that are just don't support, who are jealous, that gossip, that talk about people behind their back. As a matter of fact, they talk about each other behind each other's back. They are very, very intimidated by you because you don't mind being by yourself. It intimidates them. That's why they're not around anymore. That's why you don't hear from them anymore. You understand you outgrow people and they knew that you were going to outgrow them because you're different. You're very, very unique. You're nothing like them. Right. See, when it comes to you, people can see something in you that you can't see. Right. So when people look at you, they can see that you're very, very confident. They can see that you are becoming successful they can see that you're different right and they are intimidated by you because of this okay I'm telling you people this is what's going on and another reason why they are intimidated by you is because people respect you they respect your boundaries when you say what you mean people respect that when they try to say something that they really want and this is how it's going to be. People don't respect that in their life because they're not the type of person who respects other people and other people's boundaries. So this is what they get in, in, in return. It's like being in a loop. It's being stuck in that loop. And also, people support you. It's things that you do, things that you post up online. Trust me, they may not give you a like or share or anything like that but they're watching you and they see that all of these likes and all of these shares and all of these congratulations that you get they see this people they see that people support you they support what you do they support what you believe in and this makes them intimidated by you this makes them jealous of you and another reason people you are very very independent Right. You just you, you, you got your own thing going on. You may have a great, great job and you're working towards starting your own business. You're working on doing your own thing. You're working on becoming successful. You're very independent. Them, they probably still live at home with mama. Right. They've never even left the crib. They've never even left home. Right. And you have you got your own thing going on. They're very independent. They're very jealous. They are very, very envious of you because of this. You don't depend on anybody to do nothing for you. You do it on your own. As a matter of fact, you don't even ask anybody to do anything for you. You just do it yourself. You're very independent. And this makes these people very intimidated by you. And you are very, very creative. You know, you may be a person who is writing a book, a screenplay. You understand? You may be doing music. You may even paint. You may even do artwork. You understand? You may write poems. Whatever it may be, people, you're very, very creative. They're not creative. They don't do anything that's outside of their comfort zone. They don't believe in their self. They already know if they try to do something. They have so much fear. They know, oh, I'm going to fail if I try to do that. Ah, that's stupid. I can't paint. Even though I have a desire to, it's not going to work. You don't think like that. You're very optimistic. You believe in the possibility. You believe that you're going to accomplish, achieve. 
And this makes these people intimidated by you because of this. And also, you're going somewhere in life. You're always doing new things. Like I said, people can see things in you that you can't even see. So when they look at you, they already know that you are on your way to success. You are on a successful journey and that you are going to come out on top. They know that you are going to progress in life. They can see this in you. That's another reason why they shied away from you. They're intimidated by you. This is why they don't talk to you no more. This is why when you see them, you get, how you doing? And, and then they're gone. Bye-bye. Right? And this could be a friend. This can be a family member. This can be a, a, a partner, girlfriend, boyfriend. This can be a neighbor. This can be anybody, people. You understand? When a person is intimidated by you, they're going to find a way to get away from you. They're going to find a way to shy away from you. But best believe they're watching all your progress online. You better believe that. You understand? And another reason why they are intimidated by you people is because others' opinions never affected you. They don't affect you. You don't care what anybody says. You don't care what anybody's opinion is about you. You just keep doing your thing. It doesn't stop you. You just keep moving forward, baby. Because you know that everybody's always got something to say. And you don't care. They care. They care if they come somewhere and somebody tells them, ah, oh, your clothes don't look nice. This affects them a lot. You understand? This is what controls their life. Other people's opinion. They're very intimidated by you because you don't care about other people's opinion. You don't care what other people think about you. You don't care what other people think about what you're doing. And it doesn't stop you. You have no fear. You keep going, people. You keep going. You're very confident. You got a high self-esteem. And you are always going to collide with these different kind of people. Because they are intimidated. They're haters. They are very jealous. They're very envious type of people. You understand? And another reason why they are intimidated by you is because you support others. You support other chosen ones that's doing positive things in this world. You understand? You try to help people get further in life. You try to help people raise their confidence and their self-esteem by telling them how good they are, by telling them how good their music sounds, how good their artwork is. You give them likes, you give them shares, you give them comments, positive comments. They don't. They're intimidated by you because they don't want to see other people succeed. They don't want to see other people pass them up in life. You don't care. You like to help people become successful. You don't care if somebody passes you up because you already know you got your own journey. You got your own life. You're doing your own thing. You think outside the box. You step outside your comfort zone. And this intimidates these kind of people. And that's why they shied away from you. That's why they're not in your life anymore. And like I said, when it comes to certain people, the universe is going to bring people in your life just to show you and teach you lessons of people that you are not supposed to have in your circle. Right. So that's how you definitely have to listen to the language of the universe. The universe is always going to show you a true person's colors. Right. So I definitely wanted to deliver a positive, powerful message for you. Make sure that you like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, share this video with somebody who you may think has a person in their life that is intimidated by them, jealous of them, right? Envious of them. Share this video with them so they can get that confirmation, people. So thank you so much. For tuning in to Millionaire Mindset, where everything happens in divine time by divine design. Thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate you and I love you. Till the next video, people. Peace.